I'm Don Pettit. I'm one of the lucky ones that get to fly into space. I'd like to talk a bit about crew resource management, also known as CRM. We probably spend 80% of our time doing electrical and mechanical skill repair tasks. What you need are basic skills, basic mechanical, electrical, uh, uh, operational skills, using scientific apparatus, using machinery. And you have these basic skills and then you apply those to the situation or the job that is presented before you. All right, so this is astronaut Don Pettit. You may know this guy. You, you've done all the like city tracking. Yeah, I did, like I've done a lot of cities at night and then the, the nighttime aurora and time, time lapse sequences of Earth. Uh, many of those that you see have been done uh, in this module uh, when I was uh, at the helm of the camera. He's the junk. Let me just say it that way. You're the junk when it comes to space photography, right? Can you say that? Say I'm the junk? No, I can't say that because I just, All right, so I get too I'm, embarrassed. I'm going to meet you on the other side, okay? So seriously, he's the junk. Like all the really cool Aurora stuff, Don's the guy that took it. Now, now this is a cover. Okay. So it, we call it a shutter and it protects the windows from micrometeorites. Okay. The shutters are closed. The windows are protected. And also, thermally insulates the windows from the radiation environment of space. So can you shut these things from the outside? No, you can open and close them from the inside. Oh, okay, wait. On the inside, you're throwing a lever or something. Yeah, you're and turning it, a knob. And it's... And it's Open. Yeah. On the outside. On the outside. How do you do that and maintain a pressure seal between them? O-ring type seals. No, you don't. With a rotating check. All our hatch seals are O-ring type seals. Yeah, but how... Uh, uh, so we, uh, my, uh, my brain's up here. Let, let's go inside. We can see it. Okay. okay. Watch All right. your head. All right. Oh, oops, thunk. So you have a whole series of O-rings in here, and a shaft that you rotate. So it, I mean, like on the space station, how many of these would you have? Uh, seven, because we have seven windows. What happens if you get a leak on that? Um, then you have a leak. You just have a leak, and, 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 and what you, you would do you is you lose air. Yeah, you would probably seal the whole cupola off and then uh, there's probably a plan I don't know off the top of my head but there's probably a plan for replacing the the mechanism it might require a spacewalk so my question is how can you operate a lid on the outside of the space station by manipulating something mechanical on the inside of the space station without losing air pressure it's it's called real good engineering Okay, so here we have astronaut Don Pettit, who on paper and verbally says that he's been to the ISS three times and lived on it and survived on it for over a year. I'm a NASA astronaut, and I've had the good fortune to have flown three times to the International Space Station. I've spent a total of over a year living on the International Space Station. Also remembering, through all his experience of three times to space and living there for over a year, he has this special set of skills, mechanical, electrical skills, that you have to have to survive up there. What you need are basic skills, basic mechanical, electrical, uh, uh, operational skills using scientific apparatus using machinery and you have these basic skills and then you apply those to the situation or the job that is presented before you now remembering that this astronaut Don Pettit has been to space three times lived on the space station for over a year has all these skills knows what to do if there's a problem when asked a simple question what do you do if there's a leak? He don't know. He says there's probably a plan. I can't think of it off the top of my head. You just have a leak. And, 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 and what you, you would do you is... You lose air. Yeah, you would probably seal the whole cupola off. And then uh, there's probably a plan. I don't know off the top of my head, but there's probably a plan for replacing the, the mechanism. <laughs>